Hey guys, it's been a while. I thought today I'll show you guys how to do a quick design in 12D for drains. Let's say we want to try put a drain next to the road into the basin on the left. So first I'd like to get an understanding of the current ground terrain. So I'll start by drawing a line in the area and then just profile that line and have a look at the ground condition. So before you start using the CAD toolbar on the left, you want to first define where those lines going to sit. So that will be defined on the top here. I just type demo. So now anything that I draw will be put in a demo model. So let's say it starts about here and I just give it a few points and it will discharge into the basin. So I want to go ahead and profile the line. As I move my cursor on the right screen, you can see that on the plan view, I can also see my cursor. So it is a fairly flat terrain. We're not doing anything ridiculous like cutting a drain up the hill. So we should be able to put in a drain. The other thing that will be useful on the section wheel is also a grid line. So I like to do mine at 0.1 interval and dark grey colour. As you can see, grid lines and um, axes are now shown. I also like to check the cross section. So we do have quite a big flat area next to the road. So we'll try to put in a V-shaped drain that's approximately 200 depth and with one four side slope. So I find the easiest way to put in a drain is using the O alignment function in 12D as shown. So we want to put this drain design in our demo model. I like to use the floor line style. If you, if you can't type it, if you pick the icon on the right, it will show you a bunch of selection and the clotoid setting, if that's how you pronounce it. So start by drawing a rough horizontal alignment of the drain, as shown. As you can see, the flow line drain has been drawn. To avoid confusion, I want to delete the first line we drew. So notice that I cannot delete the line as both lines have, have been drawn in the same model. So I need to actually finish the alignment edit panel that's been cut off by the screen. I apologize for that. So I need to finish that panel first before I can delete any other lines in the same model. And notice here, the first line I click is actually the alignment on the string type. The line that I want to delete is just a super line. So I'll just click again on my cursor so that it jumps to the second line or the first line we drawn. Once that appears, I will middle mouse click to delete that line. When you have multiple lines overlaid in 12D, to select the right one, you just have to keep left clicking until it jumps onto the one that you actually want to select. So let's profile our drain line. Right now, it doesn't have any vertical data. It's just a horizontal alignment. Let's now go F6 to edit the line and we'll put in some vertical point. So we'll go around 200 to 300 depth to the basin. So just finish on that panel. The next thing we need to check is the horizontal footprint of this drain. So go design panel and interface. So I want to click the center of the drain line and define our cut and fill slope. We know this is a drain, so it's really the cut slope that matters. And the tin we're interfacing to is tin survey full. And we'll put the interface line in the same model. So we have the left interface line at one four slope. We'll do the same thing for the right side. As we can see, there's a overhead power line power pole, so we may need to adjust our drain string slightly. So I just add it again and insert a point in the horizontal alignment and just pull that one out slightly. And next we need to delete our interface lines. Again, haven't learned my lesson from the first time. I need to finish the alignment panel before I can delete a line in the same model.
Alright, now let's redo the interface line after the alignment has shifted. So we can do control B to measure how far we have from the top of the drain to the power pole. And this is something you need to check with the service people for the required horizontal clearance. So now let's do a two points to have a look at the drain cross section. So if you right click on the profile button and then two point, you'll be able to draw a line and then look at that section. So right now we have nothing on the section view, that's because we haven't added the models. So let's just do that quickly. By middle mouse click on the plus button and select a line on another view, you can just add that directly to your view. So as we can see, we have the middle of the drain line at the bottom and then we have the interface line on left and right. To have a better visualization, we can create a tin of the drain. Since we have put the bottom of the drain and the interface line in the same model, we can just create a tin using this model. So we go to the tin create function, data, and just select the model where we have all the strings. Just copy that and paste the function. After you paste it into new tin name, just enter and then model for tin will be filled in automatically. And then just pick a color for the tin and hit triangulate and we need to turn on this tin in our view so as you can see we now have a dark blue line representing the tin or the design surface of the tin of the drain sorry and we have a little noise here on the right that's because we have a now our tin so to do this we just need to we just need to create some lines right outside of our drain and use that as the now string. So we can do this by string parallel function. We'll call this demo now. I like to put these now string as magenta and just do a 0.1 meter offset. And here I like to utilize the pick with direction function. Essentially, you will left click, hold and drag your cursor and release in the direction you want. So if we do it towards the left or towards the north, a positive number in the offset will put the string on the right side of the arrow and a negative number will put the string on the left side of the arrow. So pick with direction to define the imaginary arrow, a positive 0.1, which is to the right side of the string. And we do the same for the bottom. Now we draw an imaginary arrow towards the right side and a positive number in the offset would mean that we're putting a string on the right side of this arrow. It takes a while to get used to. Next we'll now, now this tin with the strings that we just draw. Apologies that the panel has, has been cut off, I only noticed it a little bit later. So middle mouse click in that panel and select the tin that we want to now. The bottom one just look the same except it says use a model of string. So you again middle mouse click in the box that you want to fill in and then select the now strings you just drew and then you just hit now. Next we'll regen the uh, section view with the lightning button. And as you can see, the tin has been cleaned up. There is design surface at where we want the design surface. So if we do a control B again and measure the side slope of the drain as we have defined. So now let's say we want to do a flat bottom drain instead with the same invert levels, just changing the profile from a V shape to a one meter flat bottom. So to do this, we will use the parallel function but this time we're going to parallel the bottom of the drain invert and put it into a new model. I'll give it a new color as well. Since it's a one meter flat bottom drain, so from the center of the drain to left edge or the right edge, it will be 0.5 meter. So again, pick with direction, want it on the right side. So we turn on the new model. And if we do a quick measure, it should be 
approximately or exactly at 0.5 if you do it exactly at the right angle. So now I'm just demonstrating the other way of using pick with direction. So if I still pick with direction to the left side and I put in a negative number, then negative would mean that I'm putting a line to the left of the imaginary arrow as shown. So now I'm just going to turn off the first model and the first model now string as well. Now we need to redo the interface line for the flat bottom drain arrangement. So we're using 1-3 side slope this time. Again, it should just be in cut. And we change the model for interface to the same new model. And we need to repeat this for the other side of this flat bottom drain, the left side. Again, let's do a two-point profile to see what the current drains look like. So we just need to turn on the new model as well. As you can see, we have the flat bottom drain, or at least the strings for it. So now we just need to again create a tin for the new flat bottom drain. Middle mouse click, select the model, and then copy, paste, paste, enter. Triangulate. And again, we need a new set of null string in order to trim those uh, noise on the outside. So creating the null string model by parallel the interface line. Again, pick with direction on the outside. So I've just turned on the tin for this new flat bottom model. As you can see, there's a lot of noise outside. These are what's showing the design surface outside of the drain, which is why we are defining a null strings model so that 12D will cut out any design surface that's um, outside of the null strings. As you can see, the tin has been cleaned up on the plan view and we just need to regen it to see it on the section view as well. So we just do a quick measure of the flat bottom drain at 1-3 slope as defined as well on the other side. And yeah, as mentioned, we threw the B drain at 1-4 side slope. And yeah, that's really it. I hope you find this video helpful. Thanks for watching.